This is Coconetics, Oliver. Today I want to demonstrate two things. Um, one, an open source project that uh, is freely available. And two, a component for sale that I'm currently working on. So first, the open source project, it's hosted on GitHub. It's called the NS Attributed String Editions for HTML. Uh, basically what it gives you is an option uh, that you didn't have before on iOS, but you did have it on Mac. Uh, that is, you can generate attributed strings from HTML. So uh, everywhere you would use HTML, like say on an about page, where you would have maybe a hyperlink to your email and a hyperlink to your uh, website and a bit of different formatting. Uh, until now you had to do that with a UI web view. Now you can do it with a DT attributed text view, which is basically uh, a more professionally looking uh, way to do that. Uh, if you check out this project or download it from GitHub, uh, you will find uh, that you uh, see two big parts. The first big part is the attributed string HTML editions itself, uh, which aims to convert HTML to attributed strings. And I hope uh, to, to continue to uh, add new features um, so uh, I'm dependent on you sending me snippets where you say, well, that's the kind of uh, HTML that I would need to, to be look look okay. And then I can see how I uh, add that to this uh, parser. And the second uh, big part of the project is the UI because there is a CA uh, text layer, but this do does not uh, output nice uh, nicely formatted uh, strings when it, when you feed it with HTML, like it doesn't do images, hyperlinks, uh, and so on and so forth. So what uh, I'm doing here, I've got this um, attributed text view. You use that similar to a UI uh, text view, uh, and the content view is basically the. Uh, it's just a, a view that sizes itself to to fit the text inside, and the attributed text view is actually a scroll view. So you can do everything with it that you can do with a scroll view. Um, and if you uh, st start this project, you get uh, a couple of very nice samples. So uh, you see here, for example, in the debug, uh, in the <laughs> readme, sorry, you see uh, all the things that are already working. I put in here, um, even hyperlinks. Um, and the thing that's cool here, you can enable the debug frames. So that shows you where the glyph runs are. So just so that you know, know one glyph run is characters that have the same attributes. As soon as the attributes change, you have a new glyph run and it's alternated uh, red and green here. And the uh, blue line is the baseline. And you can turn that on and off. So have a look around here. Use it in your own project. Um, to do so, uh, I recommend that you copy the uh, editions group and the UI group and then uh, have a look at the, the sample how to instantiate the uh, uh, attributed text view. And uh, there's two ways basically how you can use it. One, uh, w that's here a, a scroll view with this text, but you can also use just the content view as a content for table view sets. And how to do that, you can have a look at the demo snippets view controller. I put it in there. Um, but the, th the other thing that I want to show you, now that uh, I have more or less the rendering of HTML via NS attributed string uh, done, one thing that's been missing from the iOS platform is a, is a component. And that's something that I'm going to sell, or you basically can license, um, that allows you to edit rich text. And that's something I've been working on. It's based on this project, but with many, many additions. Um, starting with iOS 3.2, there, uh, there are two protocols that, that or uh, several protocols that you need to implement, text input and input traits. And it's not, not trivial, I can tell you. It's very, very involved getting all the, uh, there are like 30 delegate methods that you have to implement for this to work. So I'm pretty proud uh, that I can show you this. And let me let me uh, exit here so that, that you uh, can actually appreciate 
the uh, component just like get rich editor so it's just a um, DT rich editor view you put in here and you put in some uh, an attributed string that I got from HTML so to show how this HTML looks so that to prove it you've got some styling information and this turns into this and now I can click somewhere and you see I got a blinking cursor and I can navigate with my uh, cursor left and right I can go down down left right um, and the thing is uh, I, it's fully editable so uh, for example hello job <laughs> um, I um, uh, we <laughs> uh, did here uh, you see one thing that I can't yet do is I don't have a format chooser uh, but what's already happening here is if you insert text it's always uh, taking the attribute uh, of the area that you insert it to and if you insert at the end it, it extends this area so I didn't have to do much for that now you can imagine uh, if I'm uh, writing here um, that could be uh, on iPhone it might not make so much sense uh, unless of course if you delete everything then you get the 12th 12 point hello world a and I can type here and you could imagine uh, if I now had a uh, option to select text and then a button bold uh, or pop over bold whatever then I, I could have a simple HTML editor like that and that's what I see as a, um, a midterm uh, application where this component would would have a place in uh, say a, a blog editor like WordPress you could uh, rich text edit your blog entries there uh, or for example um, a, a HTML editor that edits pages on Dropbox uh, so you've seen uh, how it is now things that are still missing uh, is that you s select something that you copy paste uh, and in the end to uh, make HTML HTML back out of the attributed string uh, but that's actually well not so difficult um, the the hard part here as I said is uh, getting this this navigation uh, if if you um, put go, go around with the cursor here so that if you go up it, it stays here <laughs> it's that's that's all standard behavior but you have to understand how to implement it it's not not very easy so if you're interested in uh, using this component uh, in your application I mean now the commercially sold one uh, then please don't hesitate to contact me oliver at drobnik.com uh, so we can uh, negotiate for a price for this component um, I'm thinking it should should be uh, I should be able to sell it for say um, uh, 300 euros or so because there's nothing like that uh, anywhere available um, and the time uh, you would need to spend to get this functionality done uh, well that's that you would probably have to pay a developer way more than that so um, it's oliver at drobnik.com that you want to contact um, and so we can see if there's a, a way how you can put this in your project and if it's an open source project like I said I already mentioned WordPress um, also do contact me uh, there might be a way how we can integrate this rich uh, editing in a bi binary form uh, into your project so you get rich editing uh, without uh, basically the source um, and that's it for my demonstration of my uh, rich text editor and uh, my open source component check them out and let me know what you think about them in the comments